home of Donovan Engineering. And uh, we have the uh, senior engineer here, Woody, who's just uh, created a new version of his HC400 block, which lightweight is one of the key features. Woody, how much weight did you whittle out of this thing? Well, based about nine pounds. Uh it's about nine pounds lighter than our standard uh, HC 400. You mean those guys have been hauling nine pounds around all these years? Yeah. Uh, what what took you so long to to, to get the the whittle stick after this? <laughs> Basically, they had to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, start showing me where we found all those nine pounds. Half a million lines of code. No kidding. You know, this is uh, half a million. That that looks like it. How long did it take to do all those passes, Woody? Well, actually, the uh, machine time was like an hour. Where else did you find weight in this thing? Well, mostly on the, uh, you know, on the outside, we, uh, let's see, we took the, uh, we completely got rid of the, uh, of the oil filter boss. It still has provisions for a uh, mechanical fuel pump, which is right here. And uh, we had to leave, we left the uh, side mounts on, but you can see there, everything's, uh, profiled around them pretty well. This this engine here, the uh, primary uh, customer that we're shooting for is the uh, Dirt Late model. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of those. They're mainly Midwest, uh, you know, Southeast type vehicles. You don't see them too much around here. But uh, they run on the same courses that the sprint cars run on. Right. So they yeah. run them on gasoline uh -huh. and uh, with a carburetor. But they make some awesome amounts of horsepower. Priority oiling, it's... Uh, what does that mean? Well, where do we start with that? Okay. In the back here? No, actually, front will do. This is the main oil galley, and that's it. Uh, it it's put in and back. It's a, it's a dry sump system. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the uh, oil goes in. This is in? In, yeah. That's a dash 10 AN fitting, and that goes right into the main oil galley. And uh, so that just follows the cam. Yeah, it's just right parallel, to, parallel to the cam bore, yeah. Okay, and, and that feeds each journal individually, each, 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 each main. Each main individually, and then like this particular block is set up for a, uh, a needle bearing camshaft bearing, so we don't even run any, any oil to the cam bearing at all. It just goes to the mains and that's it. Okay. Uh, now if we were set up for a, uh, a Babbitt type bearing, they require oil and we'd drill an oil hole from the main to the cam. These things are really uh, pretty custom. We do a, both a 400 and a 350 uh, size main and then there's about... On the main journal hole? Yeah. Okay. Right. And then there's about six different cam bores we can do uh, all the way from 60 millimeter down to a stock small block size. The prettiest little man caps you ever saw. Yeah, we we got rid of all the excess weight out of them too. What are what are the main caps made of? What's the alloy here? Uh, that's a ductile iron. Uh huh. And uh, they hold up really well. They're uh, they're rigid and strong. And the uh, they now the alum the coefficient of expansion in aluminum is a lot greater than iron. Of course. So these iron caps hold help hold the uh, the main size even when the engine's hot. Okay. And so, you know, if you get get really hot and you've got an aluminum cap, aluminum block, you uh, increase the clearance and you start losing oil pressure. Okay. What uh, what kind of material do we have on, on the cylinder sleeves here? I, I well, that's, uh, that's also uh, ductile iron. Okay. There, it's a centrifugally cast ductile iron. And these are a dry sleeve? Yeah, it's a dry sleeve. And how much material is there for an over, overbore? Uh, well, this is like 4120 is the uh, idea of this bore. And about 4160 is about as big as you really want to go. The okay. OD of the sleeve, this particular sleeve, is 4300 okay. is the OD of the sleeve. And then it has a flange, of course. It's Actually, the flange is uh, got a flat on it. The uh, flange diameter is about 4450. Its bore centers are 4 400. Here. Yeah. And so we got a flat on them. So uh, when the engine gets hot, there's no way that the uh, uh, sleeve can rotate. They say these are pretty custom deal. We don't build them until somebody orders them uh, because there's just so many variations. Like this one, 
the deck height, which is uh, the height here, uh, a, a stock... The height from the center of the crank to the deck. Right. Okay. The stock one is uh, about 9.025, and we're 9.525, in other words, we're a half inch taller. Okay. And this, uh, this is at the uh, customer's request, and the uh, reason being that he can run a, uh, a longer connecting rod and also keep the uh, wrist pin out of the ring pack. Okay. So that's basically this amount of material that you have here. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what, what is that, uh, explain to me how that's going to affect the connecting rod ratio. Well, well if you've got... Uh, rotating assembly. Well, you've got a, a, just a longer distance from the center of the crank to the, uh, to the bottom of the head. Right. So you're, you don't have as much angle on the Yeah, you don't rod. have as much angle. Now, we just finished a photo shoot here uh, for the new catalog, and that's what this big backdrop is and all. And the photographer scolded me earlier about not tearing his drop cloth. Yeah. And something we did here was... Uh, Show me what we got here. Well, here on the bell housing, we, we actually profiled the outside of the bell housing pretty much just to get rid of... Uh, Take a little excess off there? Yeah, a little excess off of there. It wasn't really... Uh, didn't really amount to much, but it's, it makes it cleaner. And... Uh, now some guys, uh, well, sprint cars, uh, we couldn't do it on this model, but we cut away all this stuff in between the bolt holes. Mm -hmm. And uh, some guys want it, and but uh, to me it's like you get rid of about six ounces of aluminum and replace it with four pounds of mud. Okay. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> just really, by taking that web out. By taking that web out, yeah. Uh, does that do anything with the uh, stiffness of, of of the block or anything? No, they that, they seem to hold up just fine. Pretty good, yeah. just having a little yeah. boss stick off there, huh? Yeah, because we've been we've been doing that the blocks for years and years, and uh, I've never had one come back with with a with a broke. Now, are these water exits or are they water in? These, no, these, these are uh, core plugs. This is part core. of what holds the water jacket core in place. Okay. And, and so we just uh, we put a. Like that's like a dash 16 an, and we have a plug that we that Just screws that. in there. Yeah. Okay. That's us. Woody, that's a hell of a deal there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for uh, having us out to uh, look at your block and. Uh, great. Thanks, Thank Woody. You very much.